Um, yeah, before I joined Riverstone, I was in a moment in the mainstream school until grade six. Mm. Um, and that was in 2019, I believe. Late 2019 yeah. is when I joined Riverstone, just before COVID. Right on, uh, right on. I was, uh, for most of my life, um, I've been in a mainstream school until recently. Right on. How did you find it, Riverstone? Riverstone or mainstream? Riverstone. Well, the difference. Oh, the difference between. Um, it was very confusing. I wasn't used to it. I'm, I'm, I'll admittedly, I'm still kind of getting used to it, but I'm a lot better than I was when I first joined. Um, I, was, I was actually speaking to Jan about this on the car right here, that when I first joined Riverstone, I didn't know what to do because mm. I had all this time to like do other things and like there wasn't a structure, um, like a set structure, like anything to do. So I was kind of just lost and I would like do nothing for a while. Um, I would either be on my phone or I would um, just talk with friends a lot of the time. And that continued on for, I think a year, a year and a half, mm -hmm. maybe latest like two years until I kind of discovered, um, well not discovered, but like I, I kind of wanted to do something. Mm -hmm. um, I joined up some friends on coding uh, that didn't last very long. I wasn't as interested as I thought of, uh, uh, I was. So after that, after I stopped coding, uh, for another year, I think I kind of just helped around Riverstone doing other things like helping with conflicts, um, uh, between people, other things like that until mm -hmm. I discovered my love for like working out. So I'm a really big fan of like the German things like that. And, mm -hmm. and that's psychology so that's also more like recent things now so that that's i've started to like structure myself i'm like more put i'm more i'm more put in place as a mm. recent but uh, compared to my first time or my first few times at riverstone mm. before right on this is the agentic schools vodcast where you will learn about schools from around the world where children's agency to make decisions about their learning and living is more important than their academic skills. What makes education possible is the satisfaction of psychological needs. So that is what these schools have in common with all others. What makes a school agentic is satisfying those needs particularly well. I'm your host, Don Berg.